Welcome everybody back to another bold cast One Piece reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is One Piece episodes 109 and 110. What happened last time? Last time, the room was filling up with water. Right. Vivi was trying to escape. She did escape and then uh, and ran then... into Mr. Prince. And we're gonna see who this Mr. Prince is, if he did win the jackpot on that slot machine, and how he will get us out of this predicament and what Chopper's doing. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Chopper was distracting. He was like drawing everybody away. He was away. dressed as Sanji running away. Right. Forget that last thing I said, but remember the rest of it. And uh, remember this. Check out Patreon to get <laughs> a week ahead of edited reactions and two weeks ahead of uncut timer reactions for One Piece. We hope you enjoy most of all. I will be shaving my head at 100,000 subscribers on the main channel. So check that out. Go subscribe to the main channel as well. Get us up there or don't. Don't if you don't want to watch anything other than One Piece. Subscribe here if you just want to watch One Piece. Anyway, this is way too long. Let's Patreon, go. like, subscribe, let's go. This was so messed up. That was insane. It's funny because I, I had neglected because I didn't want to be too nitpicky. I was I was gonna say something earlier about like earlier in the arc about like, oh, they keep saying there's this war going on, but like we haven't seen a battle. We've seen like pirates attacking mm -hmm. and there and you know there's some turmoil and people are uh you know every the whole thing's kind of messed up. Everybody said we have to stop this bloodshed. I'm like, is there a battle happening right now somewhere? And I was like, uh, is, is it really a war? Oh, yeah, I'm Mr. Prince. And then, but, but so like, and I thought that they were trying to be like too kid friendly where they didn't want to show a bunch of mm -mm. battles and everything, but it's really just a pacing thing because they aren't afraid to go like super dark like they did. So yeah, that's why I, I'm glad I didn't like complain about that. Mm -hmm. Imagine if they just killed off Chopper. Yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> oh. I love how he instantly understands the assignment. Yeah. Gets his ass kicked. <laughs> no, you need to direct him to chase after this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did they kill him? No. <laughs> it's exactly like what they talked about in the oh filler. God. That whole conversation mm. that he had with Zoro in the yeah. filler. Oh my god, Chopper! Killing just whatever it. Whatever I can manage just destroys all these guys. <laughs> I just love that shit. You stop, please. <laughs> hiding. He's like hiding like that. <laughs> That's more or less what happened. Hell yeah, he does. <laughs> Hear that? Maybe the banana gator will <laughs> Let's bite the cage. <laughs> <laughs> Usopp, stay on task Come here. On. <laughs> oh my god. Poor guy. What indeed? Mm. How old is she? Oh my god! Damn. 
世界中を巻き込む大事件にさえ発展しかねねってこと。What does she want? He wants, I'm sure. <laughs> Guys, I don't care about what he did. All I know, I will defeat him. <laughs> How about you turn into smoke How about like someone this? Someone who thin? doesn't have a devil fruit power. He can't turn into smoke. Yeah, you can. They're in this cage that negates their devil. Oh, the cage. I thought it was only when they were touching the cage. I'm pretty sure it's the whole Oh, there's cage. the water now, too, either way. Yeah. I don't know if that affects it. Why doesn't it. someone it's not like sea Zorro water, but it's, you know. like, try and bust out of there or something? I don't know. He's pretty strong. He's been lifting those like massive weights every single day. Yeah, I didn't know the bars like affected the things within it. <laughs> oh, shit. Was that the one that ate the key? And it's gonna spit out the key? Oh my god, look at him. This <laughs> music. I still need to get a suit that I could wear during Sanji-based Sanji episodes. I got my sunglasses, though. <laughs> Prince! <laughs> <laughs> All right. You lost uh, me there, but I love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm so in love with you. Open this cage so I can love you better. Oh. Saji so could beat them all no problem. He's I'm not worried about it. Oh, yeah, the, the line. <laughs> They're all lined up so politely. <laughs> He's looking like a Yakuza boss all over again. <laughs> like at the restaurant. Damn, you have excellent listening skills. High perception. Mm -hmm. If they had Chopper with them, then he probably would have been able to tell which one was which. Mm -hmm. Well, he probably would have been able to tell them to leave. Or at least try. Yeah, what is that? It's the same one that ate this freaking guy. Holy shit. Is he gonna help he us get out of here now? He was just gonna sit in that wax ball until he died. It was all he could do. <laughs> Unlock the cage or give the key back. I swear to God. You you have one ticket out of here. You're not gonna be able to get it out get out of here without them. I swear to god if he just feeds it to another alligator or just throws it away, I'm in. Send the unluckies my regards. <laughs> Snaps his neck. You just let him do that, Sanji? You, you could have stopped that. Kick this guy's head off. Why are you fighting us? You got betrayed by your fucking leader. Now you're a free agent. Why are you- Yeah, why- You don't have to have he's beef with us. He's gonna feed you to a crocodile again. And, and like, suck all the moisture out of your body. Why, why are you trying to help him? It was a very unlucky- It was a very lucky series of unfortunate events that led us to get captured by you in the last fight. There's no way you're just gonna let that- <laughs> We're gonna let that happen again. Oh, it was a fake key all along. He's really smart. I like that. I appreciate that in a villain. But also, that means that you expected, you know, some crazy hijinks to happen in the first place. Well, he just said he just wanted to make sure. It could. Like the real key. <laughs> What, did you just threaten him? Can't ever need to get out of there. Did he kick me? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Classic. Those are, it doesn't matter anymore how many there are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I love they don't even break a sweat. Smoker, where are you where are you fitting into all of this? Let's just get out of here the closest fastest way possible. Look at the beautiful sunset. It looks really nice. <laughs> did, did anyone help Smoker get out of there? Did, did he leave? Yeah, what the hell happened to Smoker? Yeah, you could've just left him down there. Yeah, he's not really the enemy, though. Would be just so ungrateful. To get saved by pirates. <laughs> like he's talking about making a plan. <laughs> what? Smoker, your view of pirates is very one-dimensional and simple. Except it's not. Except exactly. Except it's not. <laughs> what do you mean, why? I thought you understood that. That's why you were interested in, uh, interested in us in the first place, is that there's something weird about us. But of course I know that. That's why I asked. Now prove me right. By your duties, do you mean upholding peace in a fragile land and maintaining the rule of law and helping the people and all that kind of thing? Or do you mean hey, just chasing down a pirate? <laughs> <laughs> it's like growling. <laughs> the music is so good in this episode. Mm -hmm. All these cigars got wet. They're all ruined. <laughs> all like 50 of them. He's only got one in his mouth too. That's how you can tell how thrown off he is. Go smoker, you let one go out on purpose. Mm -hmm. So now we're not fighting Croc. We're the crocodile. Oh, well, they thought that that's where he went. Right. Yeah. 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 Which I think he was going there, but then they like blew up the bridge and stuff. So then he came back. But they don't know that he came back. Yeah. Did he? Did crocodile say? Sorry, did I miss it? If he said he was going there afterward. Like after he saw the little note. I mean, he's probably just gonna follow them, right? He's pissed off. Yeah. Yeah, he'll definitely follow them. Well, hopefully the Straw Hats here can have a calming effect on the warfare that is going on in the East. Yeah, well, I guess the thing is, if they can clear it up and tell everyone about Mr. Two's ability, the only thing is, is like, is anyone gonna believe that? Cause it's if very... Vivi shows up, I think they might. Yeah, it's just it's just hard though, because then people might say, well, you're just defending 
your dad, and he just rolled in here and like killed people and destroyed our city, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, I, I, it's a really difficult uh, like to disprove what they all saw with their own eyes. You yeah, know? yeah, it's hard. I think, well, hope, well, when I was gonna say, hopefully all those people who saw it are dead, but I actually don't hope that. I don't know why I was gonna say that. Um, <laughs> But they really just need to convince Koza and stop the fighting and convince. Mm -hmm. But then they also need to convince the palace. that one, yeah, the palace guard guy. I forget his name. That um, that of everything that's going on, mm -hmm. and he's his faith is already really shaken, and that's why he sprung into action like he did and mm -hmm. is defending the palace because well, he doesn't even yeah. trust. He doesn't know what to do, you know. I mean, possibly if Vivi came back she would be able to say like, oh, well, like in the absence of the king, since I'm next in line, mm -hmm. you're gonna do what I say and you're not gonna fight these people. Who knows? Good episode, I loved Sanji. And then he's like, I just love when he's like, it's so stupid. And he's like, Nami, do you still have that perfume that you bought? Yeah? Put it on. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> It's like so, he's like being so cool and he just turns into an absolute idiot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good episode. Loved them. Mm -hmm. I love Mr. Up. 3 just getting his ass kicked. Mm -hmm. Des fully deserved. Never seen something more deserved in my entire life. Excellent. W, next episode. Leave a like and subscribe. Moving right along. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> How are you getting winded already? Oh shit. Not against those pirates. But the will they do anything? Against I'm, crocodile but I mean he is working with someone who isn't protected by the law. That is and true. And is equally as notorious as him. That is true. So what? Oh, I was, that's so that's smart. so smart. Sanji's a fucking genius. I don't think he had that in mind, but he, he'd probably claim that he did. I bet he did, because that's what Chopper was probably looking for. Yeah, oh, he probably. Because they met up, it was the, probably the plan to, for her to put it on once they got out. Mm -hmm. Or not, or if, it, you know, <laughs> it just works no, out that way. Did. Oh, look at Chopper, oh my goodness. Looks like the, the guy from fucking uh, Moana. I was doing the same thing. It's creepy. <laughs> Luffy, stop that. Sanji's like, wow, I can't wait to serve this up for a feast later on. Lash's friend? That's so nice. He looks like it. <laughs> All right, well. Okay. Hell it's also yeah. also creepy that the like reins are like attached to its mouth. Oh. Oh, sh oh my god. Oh, I thought that was gonna like spear hurt her. her. Yeah. <laughs> now we have to go, we have to go fight Crocodile now. Maybe they're gonna split up. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was sick. That was sick, Zoro understood exactly. We came here for a reason. But you'll never be able to find them after. He'll figure it out. Are they actually gonna listen to him and leave? At least take one person. Oh 
<laughs> oh boy. That's why I love Zoro. <laughs> oh, Chopper. He asked for it. <laughs> well, don't, don't say that. Why are you guys hyping it up so much? I feel like it's not gonna work this time. I mean, maybe it'll work. I just... It's a lot, and it's this thing of like being made out of sand, and a girl that can make a bunch of limbs, she can like tie them into a pretzel. I don't know about this. Yeah. It, he's supposedly on the level of Mihawk, and he's got somebody who has the same bounty as him, with him. Also with a devil fruit yeah. power, no water in sight, other than at the casino. But he's the main character. It's like, I don't I don't think that they, they're gonna, like, kill him, but I don't have all that much faith that he can, like, defeat both of them at once, you know? <laughs> that would be funny if he was just like, no, actually, that's where we disagree. There is someone who needs to die. Real name. Mm. I'm leaving. Oh, you said my name, so I quit. <laughs> what happens at the end of the three minutes? Yeah, just you leave. You'll give up. If you can't beat me in three minutes, you'll get up. Why does that make any sense? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're like, oh, Luffy's in a 1v2 situation. Ah. Uh, I don't feel like it walks <laughs> away. All right, now he's in a 1v1. Okay, now he is, there's like a bell. <laughs> he can get saved by the bell if it takes longer than three minutes. I like how they use that even though he's just like stretchy. <laughs> this is like the same as fighting Smoker, but with sand. Yeah. And he's got that hook. This is, that's the difference with Gara. is Gara could get hit. It was yeah. like him turning into sand was like a substitution, like a misdirection technique. It wasn't like a... It wasn't like he could his never body. get hit. Yeah. It's sand. What the hell can he do to him? What can you do to sand? You could throw him in water. But yeah. You could, but you'd have to be able to grab him. Maybe draw him over to the casino. Uh, light him on fire. Too bad Ace wasn't here. Good. He's pulling out all the big moves, one after the other. Mm -hmm. It's also hard because you're fighting in sand, so you don't really know where he went after something like that. <laughs> I don't know if his clothes like, also are affected by his devil fruit power. <laughs> For him and Smoker. I think we've seen that, yeah, we've seen that before. Yeah, it's, with, it's just with funny. With Ace, too. Yeah. What happened to his hat? I hate saying. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Get out of the way. Move. So that's like Luffy's one weakness is sharp stuff. 
Well, he has other, I think. Well, water. Mm-hmm. Training. Mm. I wonder what, like, Luffy could do to train. Mm-hmm. Just created a sinkhole with nothing to grab onto. This is so fucking bad. Uh oh. Sand coffin. <laughs> yeah, this is like the perfect area for him. Net? He's made of sand. I don't know what you're trying to catch. He's just using his moves. He's just trying everything he can. It doesn't, yeah. nothing will work. What about Tornado? Wasn't that one where he like spins around? Yeah, but I feel like that's just still gonna... I don't know. I just feel like that's the only one that could have an effect. The hell? What? what? Oh my what? That's oh my god. So freaky. Oh my god. Do it. Oh my god, it's like flailing around. Well, I'm glad right. it's so easy to fix. What, what if he dehydrates your entire yeah. fucking body? I feel like he would have, you know? I feel like this is another one of those cases where it's like, if he really wanted to beat him, he could, like, Crocodile could easily defeat him in like two seconds. I feel like now he will. How the fuck? Is he, like, the only way he can do this is by some sort of environmental... Yeah, or someone else coming in. Yeah. Oh, boy. He's gonna destroy... He's not gonna do anything. Oh. It's straight for him. I love those glasses are just his thing now. Oh no, Yuba, right? Yeah. Oh, this one old man again! What an asshole! Is he really just gonna kill this guy? What the fuck just happened? Did he just dry him out? He just stabbed him? Damn. Jesus well, Christ. Luffy's dead. <laughs> yeah, Luffy's dead, you guys. Holy shit. Oh, can't believe it. Thanks for everyone for coming on this journey with us. Yeah, sorry we started a whole <laughs> channel for this show that's over 100 episodes in. But wow. seriously, though, what the fuck? Like, he, he, there has to be something. Like, okay, he, he's, le he's talking in the fight. He's like, oh, the sand is nice and dry. I think it is kind. It's. I, I went way further with a prediction earlier, like in a previous episode of like, oh, he just wants, you know, he, he wants to merge with the land or something like that, maybe. But I think what he, maybe what he, partially what he wants is, is yeah, to just take all the water out of this whole place and like wipe it all clean or something, you know?
Yeah, what a crazy fight. I like I like it because it's not Luffy, it, like he was never gonna do anything anyway. But I like they're delivering that on crocodile that. Crocodile actually did something. Like he literally set a timer and he's like, "I will mess around with and, and fight you mm -hmm. for three minutes, and then I'm 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 out of here. I'm done." Yeah. And the fact that he actually did that, obviously Luffy's not actually dead. But the fact that he, like, stat first of all, the fact that he dried out his arm. Yeah. That's also good. The second thing, yeah, that he just stabbed him and is like, okay, I'm done. And I'm, I'm sending off this sandstorm, possibly just out of spite to murder one old dried up man in the middle of the desert. Uh, because he gave you water and because I know that it's gonna, gonna fuck with you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just literally one guy. And then, yeah, the, I got one guy. Yeah, what? It's an expression. Oh, it's just I I I love that crocodile actually. Okay, sorry. I Let know where you're start. going with this. I I, I agree. you know exactly where I'm yeah, going. Yeah, and, and I agree. Yeah. I think. Well, we'll see. Okay. Say it and then I'll um, agree. I in Naruto there is a character with a similar but a little bit hot and like a. A slightly different ability, but it's a sand ability, essentially. And constantly, every single time... Not Gara, a, di a different character. Yeah. Um, and every single time that ability is used, it doesn't make any sense. The, the, the ability is being used like how Luffy in this episode was using, like, Oh, I'm gonna do my finger net! Oh, I'm gonna, like, do this! It's like, why are you doing that with sand? It's sand! You can just, like, put it in someone's mouth and kill them. Or, like, shred them to bits with your little sand. I don't understand. This fight doesn't make any sense because you're saying that this person is this powerful, but they're giving it their all and then getting defeated because they're completely underutilizing their power. Whereas in this, Crocodile claims that he really knows his power and can use it to the full ability. And I believe it because he actually does it. Yeah. It's clear at any point in this fight, like from, from Luffy's first punch and it just goes through, through, it's like, okay, you can't win this. Unless some s something magical happens, Luffy's not gonna win this. Crocodile, and but Crocodile, get, does, they do the timer thing as an excuse to why Crocodile didn't just do this and walk yeah. away. I think it would have been kind of badass if he just stabbed him and walked away. Um, but we got, we got to see a little bit of his abilities. If this um, were a more like adult and if this were a more adult and modern show, I would expect them to, or I would have liked them to do the whole, like to not do the timer thing. But the fact that this is, you know, it's a battle shown and the whole point of it is to show off the power and, you know, all this and shit I to have this whole encounter, but like they did still follow through despite wanting to show the fight and mm -hmm. show the development of Luffy's skills versus this guy's skills, show, you know, do a trial and error, everything that Luffy, we've seen Luffy do up to this point in a battle does not work. There's no way that he can beat him in this circumstance. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Eat, like, done. So I pre yeah, like, I, so I do agree with what you're saying. I appreciate that they just stuck to, that they didn't, um, mm -hmm. you know, that they followed through with what, what should happen in this case. Like, you know, respecting the powers that you set mm -hmm. up and not just, you know, reverting. Maybe, maybe there'll be some cheese later on, but I think it'll be like, like we said, more environmental or getting help from somebody else mm -hmm. or a combination of both. But and yeah. I, I, I'm fine with that. I like that because I just feel like so often, and I like that it's held true with Smoker as well. Like they still yeah. haven't been able to defeat him. They had the thing with like Ace and Smoker where they had that fight, which was apparently like, you know, added in. But um, I, I still like it because I, I like that it's not just like, oh, and then in this random ass pull way. Yeah. Uh, suddenly the character that should not be able to defeat this person just physically is defeating them ma like by magic, but they don't acknowledge that there's any magic like in the show. It's just they can suddenly defeat them. And there, I'm, I'm, there will likely be something I think that feels kind of ass pullish, uh, you know, in, in round two when mm -hmm. they come back. But at least they did this, you know, like at least they went this far to show this, mm -hmm. you know, like it's it, a yeah. severe enough consequence of getting stabbed that like, you know, he and he tried out all of his moves. And it's like, OK, none of that worked. Like, what's he going to bring out in round two if they have a round two or if someone like if Smoker and the Marines come in 
and like maybe Crocodile doesn't get defeated, maybe he escapes, or maybe someone else captures him, or maybe Luffy and combined with someone else or combined with the environment can like think of something that will um like destroy Crocodile. I don't know. Yeah. Is he gonna throw a bunch of dance powder I mean, into his mouth? Well, or? he's getting rid. Well, maybe, but he's getting rid of all the water. It's and it seems like. He wants to get rid of all the watering. That's like his utopia as a dry man is a dry land. So maybe that's the end goal for him. And and maybe teaming up with, uh, apparently name is Nico Robin. Mm -hmm. um, it's all Sunday in this is like, um, you know, maybe maybe th there's probably something more to their dynamic, but I th but it, maybe it's just that he literally does want want to like wipe this land clean, make it all dry, make it a haven for so that so that he can live to the fullest extent of like his his ability or his mm -hmm. life or whatever. Well, they were talking about like, oh, I can't believe something like that is in this desert before. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but like it, but maybe maybe it's, maybe it's because water is like his weakness, like like you kind of guessed, like, like we were saying in the episode. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe that's partially why he wants to also get rid of all the water, as opposed to just looking for whatever they're trying to find. Because if they get rid of all the water and he has full control over everything, then they can do whatever they want with the land. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like that, you know, that's just kind of everything full circle. I feel like we've kind of known that, or we've you know, there's some variant of that. But like as as we've learned more about his power and everything. And just got more of him talking about it, like the whole thing about like, oh yes, nice and dry or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And the fact that nothing seems to be defeating him here, it's it's likely that water is. I mean, he water is literally his weakness oh. because he's a devil fruit user. But mm -hmm. like, and like I said before, so it is. It, it's kind of a combination of what we're talking about with the sandstorms. Like he said, like he wasn't literally going to that guy's village every he just day. He sent them off. He yeah. would just start them here, and then the wind would take them there, which I do, which I like that detail, because I was like, it's kind of wild that this guy was, like, go going on, like, a two or three, like, how, how, how long was he, like, flying through the air as sand just to, like, go harass this old man, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, it's an evil thing to do, but, like, you could just kill the old man if you really wanted. But the fact that he didn't have to, like, really go, like, he could probably just make sandstorms everywhere and they would just blow all over the place yeah, and it's, wherever it's, it landed it wouldn't really matter to him it's similar to like if it gives the same kind of vibe as at arlong park where they like moved some rocks and then shifted the currents mm -hmm. because of nami's like knowledge of all the currents yeah, and stuff and he has that knowledge but of the desert because he is using it to like how he said oh i know where like these water um like underground rivers are in the maybe it is like a repeat of um of arlong park as well then like with uh, with Miss All Sunday, like where maybe she's the one with all of the knowledge of the, like all the sand and the desert oh, and stuff like I that. I feel like it's him because I because it works in his ability. It feels like it, yeah. That yeah. he specifically said he was trained and like learned all about sand and stuff so yeah. that he could be good, which yeah I do like because like Luffy hasn't really trained and so it's because he's been able to just defeat everything that's come to his way. But now we're meeting multiple people that he cannot defeat, like he cannot defeat them with anything that he currently has. He might be able to learn something or like use something else to allow him to win. But right now, as it stands, Smoker, he can never win against. Ace, he could never win against. And Crocodile, he could never win. So he probably, he may be able to win against Miss All Sunday, but like debatable because he gets bamboozled pretty easily. And if her arms start like spouting out of him, he's gonna be like, what's happening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if he can like stretch, she could just like tie him up. So it's like we're, I, I do. I feel like he, he's, the, he's the one person who could probably get out of her thing. I think he you know? could, but I feel like she would. Like even it, if she would, grabbed his arms up, you just like, like you just extend his his arm out, or you know. Yeah, I guess I guess what I was saying is like I feel like it would be like, it's still a cha like it wouldn't it wouldn't just be like an easy thing. I feel like it would really m mess with him, like mentally to like figure out what was going on there. Yeah. Um. Plus, who knows? She could just she could like launch herself out of the way by putting a bunch of her hands like out of the ground underneath her and like. Th like we, we we haven't seen or the, like reach out and then reach out a hand from a wall from, or something and pull herself out yeah. of the way or something like that. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Very cool. 
I loved uh, everybody, like everybody just trusting Luffy in that moment, but they set it up so clearly that he was gonna lose. Like with the, no, he's got it. If, if no one has ever walked, you know, he's always yeah. figured it out. It's just like, they, they really, um, they poured it on pretty thick that this was a bad thing. Uh, yeah, see, she walked like back towards there. She didn't mm -hmm. walk out into the desert. Uh, I imagine she, she said she's going to uh, she's probably getting Olibarna. that like carriage thing or something yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah, another giant hermit crab guy. Yeah, I guess all is just let's wait and see what uh, what what the deal is, what what they're what they're really looking for. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm really excited to see. And you can see us see it next time on One Piece by checking out Patreon. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time, Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye bye.